on occasion, somebody has to recuse themselves, but they bring somebody else in. Members of the Oil and Gas Regulatory Authority of Pakistan got to see how Ohio's government operates as guests of the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio, which regulates utility service providers in the state and National Association of Regulatory Utility Commissioners. I'm really impressed by the grandeur of, of the building, uh, how uh, our, our tour is being conducted. The Supreme Court moved across the street. And the processes uh, and the dissemination of justice. Basically, the courts ended up ruling against uh, the new station. The group from Pakistan is in the middle of creating a new docketing system and came to Columbus to analyze and learn from PUCO's setup. We're so much impressed with, with the systems here, uh, with the people, uh, the staff, and everyone. Lots of smokestacks. After days of presentations and hands-on writing, they got a break from their work with their tour of the city, which included the Ohio State House and Thomas J. Moyer Judicial Center. The one thing which, the, which we like most is that uh, everything, it has some meaning with it. All the paintings, it has their symbols. It all ties together. Along with the building itself, the regulators were quick to notice the difference between the state's high court and theirs. These are cases that are not easy to resolve. The Supreme Court of Pakistan has a chief justice and 16 other justices, but only a few of them hear cases together due to a larger workload. Back home, uh, every case which is being admitted in the Supreme Court, they have to hear it. The lessons were part of an experience they say will last a lifetime. This is one of the most rewarding and wonderful visit I've ever had outside Pakistan. I'm Chabasukos for Court News Ohio.